this is Nick when I show you uh, the rehab project we did. We purchased a new building in spring of 2016. Uh, we call it Arkham, short for Arkham Properties. Um, and the first thing we did was replace the roof. It had a really bad roof, it was leaking all over the place. So we quickly got a new roof on there. Next thing we did was start working on the outside of the building. Um, the front had an old rock face. We know we wanted to re-vinyl that, but we also wanted to get brand new windows in there because they had very old windows. So we did something called a curtain wall, basically building a wall in front of the rock face, and we ended up putting vinyl in there. Um, all the windows were replaced though throughout the building and we did that ourselves. That was almost uh, 50 windows and so that was quite a project. So overall the project took us about six months from beginning to end. We took a little break in the summer there um, but we pretty much worked seven days a week until we got everything up and running. Um, so once the front was vinyled, this is the before and as you can see the after, much much better look. Uh, very easy to keep clean and we like that a lot. The well um, did not work when we got there so we had no running water um, so we actually had to find the well. It's actually quite a ways away. Climb into the well and that's where all the electrical kind of mess we found was. Ended up calling Richardson Well and Pump. They had to run a new pump in and get the, the well working. So once we got that working it was off to the inside. This is the reception or the old reception room as you can tell very small. First thing we did was we opened that up um, by kind of taking that wall down to the next room, making it double the size and a much better um, entryway. So we also replaced the front door um, and we also had to level the floor. That floor was very unlevel when you first walked in, so we used some self-leveling concrete. Um, that will set, self-level it, level itself, and then you have a good base to put new flooring down. Um, so we ended up doing that in a couple of the locations in the building that just due to time and age, it had settled and kind of left a bit of a crown on the floor. Next thing we did was we did the reception room, um, redid the whole thing, repainted it. We put some new uh, lighting in it <clears throat> and we did the desks in there. The offices, um, as you go through, we have a lot of offices in this new location. Um, and the before, the heating system just did not work. We had to redo the entire heating system. Um, but afterwards, as you can tell, the offices came out great. Um, new desks, new floor, new windows, pretty much like new offices. Very easy to keep clean and uh, very homey feel. So we do enjoy these new offices a lot. Up next we have our server room. This is our central hub where all our wires go. Um, this is, we redid this room so all our networked wires are nice, neat, organized, and very clean. Uh, we have the employee lounge. This is just an old uh, kind of red room before. This is actually all the copper that we had pulled out from the old uh, heating system. And we found a neat little nook, uh, ended up ripping that out. And so that was really cool that we were able to save that. Um, old nook and this is the after picture of uh, what used to be a closet. We also added a pool table, just kind of employee lounge that we can relax after work or uh, lunch break. The bathrooms, there's a lot of bathrooms because this was an old nursing home um, and they were pretty bad. We A lot of them, the tile just had to be ripped out right down to the studs again. Um, some of the insulation wasn't so good, so we had to redo that. And it, we just didn't need so many bathrooms and, and toilets and things like that. Um, so that's something we wanted to redo fresh. Um, and a lot of staff helped us with that, <clears throat> getting that all cleaned up and new toilets put in. Uh, we redid some showers in a couple of the units. So this is one of the units that we redid the shower stall um, just in case and we put some urinals in instead of um, a shower stall as well. So this is the finished product, much cleaner, much nicer, um, definitely much more usable compared to what it was before. So as we go downstairs here, the old stairway was very unlevel. The steps were, were way off, leaning forward. That had to be redone, so we'd rip out all the stairs. Um, 
The floor, of course, had to be redone as well, but uh, repainted it, <clears throat> put new stair treads in, that made it a lot safer. Um, and as you can tell, the look is a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. The kitchen, that's something actually that we really liked from the beginning. We liked all the stainless steel, um, but needed a couple upgrades, got a new dishwasher in there, uh, re-steamed all the floors, redid the lighting, as you can see, um, which looks a lot nicer. I just didn't need a lot of cleaning, a lot of grease and things like that left from over the years of just being a kitchen. So the floor was a huge project, almost 8,000 square feet of flooring. Um, we used this uh, snap together laminate floor. It's uh, Lakeshore Pecan. You can get it right at Home Depot. Great floor, very nice to install, very scratch resistant as you can see. Um, you know, you can really smash it and bash it and it really holds up to all, all us techs. And as far as putting it together, um, it's one of the easier, we've done a lot of laminate floors over the years, but this is one of the easier ones that I've found. And for the price point, um, you know, it's very cheap compared to some of the other floors out there, but it goes together very easy. So because the old uh, owners did not winterize properly and did not heat the unit, there was a lot of broken pipes. So we ended up having to smash a lot of the walls and ceilings up to find those pipes. That was a little bit time consuming. Uh, ended up putting brand new doors throughout the offices, went with the clear glass. That allowed a lot of light to come through to the offices. Uh, it was very dark before, so by putting these <clears throat> new windows and larger glass doors, you just get all the light from the outside, and it makes a much brighter, happier place to be. Uh, the heating system was totally shot, totally rusted out. Uh, Kafin came in and redid all that for us, so that was a great job, um, just gutting the whole thing and getting the heating system back up and running. Um, and now we have a nice heating system. This is the after um, location. The insulation was pretty much non-existent. So we ended up renting one of these from Home Depot and went through and loaded, as you can see, quite a lot of uh, insulation up. This actually just blows it right up there and you just have to walk around and get it to a good level. But it's one of the easiest ways you can fill insulation up uh, we had a very small hole to get through, so it was not super easy to um, carry it up any other way besides this hose type system. So the Live Edge desks is something the whole staff got together and picked out uh, on their own. And basically this is an example of them cutting um, one of the pieces of wood, a Live Edge slab, um, a local place right in Situate. And you'll, they'll cut the piece down, we'll take that back to our store, and we'll basically uh, leave the edge on there, but we'll sand the top. If there's any holes inside, we'll fill that with a resin. Um, and we have uh, Leo and the staff uh, all picked out their own desks, um, and then brought it back, figured out the dimensions that they wanted to, to make it, and then ended up putting all the different stains and the lacquers and had the, the sanding down to how rough they wanted it specifically as well. Um, so these came out great and each one of the staff, you know, picked out their own wood style. We had some maples, um, we had some elms and all these different exotic woods. Um, we picked them up in the Berkshires up in Massachusetts. Um, so that was a really cool and they came out great, um, have a nice look to them. So that's something that we're really proud of doing. So in conclusion, I just want to give you sort of a final look through of the before and after. Um, the front, of course, is, is hugely noticeable. As you walk into the new building, obviously we have the brand new door, um, all new floor, new paint, new reception. You know, it just kind of made it our own <clears throat> location. We have the pictures of the whole staff, uh, the crew, and the reception right there with, with our logo. Um, if you come by, you just feel free to stop in and say hi to the guys. We each have our own offices, um, and you can kind of go through and see how we work. This is the conference room uh, with LCD screen set up for presentations. Um, we have the server room down at the end here. We have our lounge, which is basically just where we have lunch and uh, relax after work as well. Um, then as you go throughout the offices, we have most of the staff is upstairs. We have some additional room downstairs for future expansion of the staff. Um, but we also have another 
Jan Chang made a ping pong table and some other of the spare rooms. And we have a VoIP room, we have an inventory room, um, a lot of different rooms, a lot of uh, expandability here. So just want to wish you guys um, thank Finally, I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And you guys have a great day. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel, click here to watch more videos, or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.